welcome back to the channel so as you can see i'm out for another uh, day in the woods we had uh, some fresh snow overnight last night it's an absolutely beautiful morning out here now everything's covered with a fresh blanket of snow so yeah i'm just gonna spend the day out here with the two dogs goose and millie and i got my little single shot 410 so first time having it out this year so uh yeah, hopefully we'll find some small game to hunt. We're gonna be looking for rabbits and grouse. And I may even take a squirrel or two if we see one today. So I got an idea for another video that I wanna do and uh, I'm gonna need a couple of squirrels. So if we get an opportunity, I might take a couple of squirrels. Yeah, we're just gonna hike around out here for the day. Got some food to cook up on the fire here in a bit. And just enjoy the beautiful fall day. Last day of November, I believe. Good dog. So the snow stopped sometime overnight last night. So it'll be interesting to see if we can cut any fresh animal tracks. I already saw some coyote tracks out on the main road. And I would imagine we'll come across some in here somewhere at some point. But yeah, see if we can see any rabbit tracks or grouse tracks or anything. If they're uh, if we can find tracks, they'll be pretty fresh. So, <laughs> goose is hiding away on the trail up there now, waiting for Millie to come by so we can attack her, jump on her. They're only playing, but Millie knows. Go on, Millie, go. get off the trail here now get in up into this little clearing see if we can't hear any squirrels well there's something about when you get a fresh snowfall in the woods Everything is just so quiet. I haven't heard a bird chirp, I haven't heard a squirrel, nothing yet, just dead silence. So I don't know how much action we're gonna have here, but still early, so hopefully things will pick up a little bit. All right, let's make our way up in this little uh, open spot, see if we can cut any squirrel tracks. Well, this is gonna come in handy later. Throw this in the backpack. Well, here's a good little rabbit lead right here. There's some fresh tracks in there. So rabbit came through here sometime last night or this morning. So that's the first track, good fresh track that we've seen. And chances of tracking down this rabbit are slim to none, but Anyways, at least we're seeing something. I guess all the rabbits that were already turned white are pretty happy this morning, so they're gonna be a hell of a lot harder to spot now with this snow down. Well, it's been one hell of a slow morning, so <laughs> I've been out here hiking through the woods for probably two hours now, and we have not seen or heard a single animal. Not a bird, not a squirrel, nothing. It is just completely dead. Which is crazy because on an average day I would have seen probably a dozen squirrels by now. And now that I'm looking for them, of course, you know how it goes. Anyways, we're not giving up yet. Still, uh, still got all afternoon ahead of us, so I'm staying out here either until we get a couple of squirrels in the bag or until it gets dark, whichever comes first. So, I'm gonna keep at her. Little update. So, we just heard a squirrel. So literally like 30 seconds after that last clip, I heard a squirrel, it's up this way somewhere. Dogs are gone off through the woods, so. Yeah, it was a ways away, but I'm gonna keep hiking up towards the area where I heard it. And we'll just take our time, listen, see if we can't hone in on it. 
All right, we got some fresh squirrel tracks here. So I'm just gonna sit here now and listen for a bit. A squirrel's around here somewhere. Well, it's been one hell of a slow day when it comes to seeing any animals, but that's how it goes sometimes. I would say it's close to 2 p.m. right now, so we only got a couple hours of daylight left. I just decided to stop, get a fire going, warm up a little bit. It's a cold day, so I would say it's probably uh, minus three, minus five degrees Celsius, something like that. I got some moose sausages to throw on my uh, little fold up grill here. So we're gonna do that. But yeah, man, it's, it's hard to believe we didn't uh, we didn't see a squirrel all day. Well, Millie's pretty tuckered out there now, so big day for her. We've been on the go since I don't know nine o'clock or something, so four or five hours or more now. So yeah, she don't have the same energy and uh, endurance level of goose has. So after a couple hours, she's satisfied enough to just lay down, and hang out by me. Goose is still doing circles out there somewhere. All right, got my folding uh, grill, Bitty Big Q grill. I haven't used this one much lately, but it'll come in handy here today for these sausages. See what kind we got. Honey garlic. These are from the meat shop, Grandpa's. Check them out on Facebook. Uh, Central Meats and the Meat Shop. Put a link in the description for anyone interested. Well, keeping it real simple here today, good old instant coffee. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? Good girl. Yeah, good girl. We'll get a piece of sausage here in a minute, don't you worry. Good girl. So, got some mustard pickle hot sauce. Have a bit of that on those sausages now, should be good. The meat shop in Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland. They do an awesome job on moose sausages for anyone who's uh, looking to get any moose meat processed or sausages made or anything. Probably the best sausages I've ever had done. And uh, I've had a lot of different moose sausages made over the years. I've made them myself. I've had different butcher shops make them and stuff. And uh, yeah, these are by far the best, the best I've ever had. They do a great job on them. All right, well, we're back on the move. And Goose finally drove a squirrel up in the tree. And I was making a racket. As soon as I got in here, it went quiet. So I haven't found it yet. There's a woodpecker on that tree right there. I don't want to shoot at him. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, where'd you go? Up in one of these spruce trees. Oh, I see him. I see him finally. Right up here. He's on one of these limbs. I'll take a shot. Good 
Oh boy, Goose, leave it. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Leave it, Millie. Finally, after all day out here looking around, finally managed to hone in on one. Anyways, like I said, I wanted to get a couple squirrels for a video that I'm going to do coming up. So, got one. So, we'll keep going in the trail now and uh, see if we can come across another one. Some fresh rabbit tracks on the road. All right, Goose is held up on this tree here now. I don't know what he sees up there, smells up there. What is it, Goose? What is it, bud? Oh, it's another squirrel. And he's on to me. He's a, oh, there he is right there. Right there. Let me see if I can get a shot at him. Oh no, he's on the move. He's trying to get away. Oh, Goose just drove him back up the top of that tree. I had to get a shell out now, see if I can get a shot on him. I can't see him now. I'm not sure if he's still up in that tree or if he jumped to another tree. He might have made a getaway while I was trying to get a shell out of my pocket. Shit, I missed. Oh no, he's coming down. There he is. We got him. Leave it, Goose. Leave it. Leave it. All right, that one was tough to uh, tough to get. He must have jumped out of the tree that I thought he was in when I was loading the gun. But uh, I just hung out in this area for a few minutes and uh, eventually I saw him jump to another tree. So I got a bead on him again. Thought I missed him with that shot, but I guess uh, I guess I struck him with some of the pellets. And uh, he hung onto the tree for, I don't know, probably 10, 15 seconds and he fell. All right, got another one, that's two. Oh shit. Goose just flushed a rabbit, it ran right, right along by my feet. Came right through here. Yeah, there's a track right there. Damn, I wasn't ready. If I had a shell on the gun, I could have had a shot at him. He ran right across the road. Caught me off guard. Came right out through here. Across the road, took off up through this way. Oh, that would have been good. Almost got a rabbit. Hey, goose is on fire here this afternoon. It's a slow morning, but uh, getting some action finally. So I'm gonna cook up these squirrels uh, in an upcoming video. So I've always wanted to try squirrel. I've never tried it personally. I know lots of people that have, and everyone uh, I talk to has tried it. Says it's good, good meat. So. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out myself, see what I think of it. And uh, I thought about doing like a catch and cook video, but I'm kind of glad I didn't do that now because we didn't have any action all morning. And uh, by the time I got these squirrels cleaned up now and uh, and cooked on fire, it'll probably be uh, after dark by the time I got it all done. So I'm just gonna take them home, skin them, clean them up, and uh, you'll see them again in another video. Well, that squirrel got the last laugh. I missed him completely. He got away. He got down the tree. Goose had him up in the tree, but he jumped trees and he made his way down to the ground before I got the shell ready. 
Anyways, I had a shot at him, but I shot about three feet behind him. All right, Goose. He got away, bud. That one got away. All right, come on. Let's go. Well, the action continues. Goose just flushed a grouse. I heard it fly. I don't know where it went. Angly spot here. It's gonna be tough to find it in these thick trees. Woohoo! Got him. Good boy, Goose. Yes, good boy. Here, drop. Here, drop him. Drop it. Leave it. All right, so picked up a grouse. Perfect. So let's go on my pack now and uh, continue on in the road. See, I don't know what was going on this morning, but everything was just dead this morning. And uh, as soon as I had lunch, got back on the trail, things really picked up. So got the grouse, two squirrels. Heard another squirrel, but uh, never did find that one. And then there was that rabbit. Should have had a shot at that rabbit if I had been ready. Definitely would have at least had a shot at it, but yeah, not too bad. Anyways, guys, let's keep going. Well, the sun is pretty well set now. So I gotta start making my way back towards the road, back to the truck. So it'll be pretty well dark by the time I get back now. We're gonna hike on out of here. Anyways, if anything else happens on the way back, if there's any more action, I'll turn the camera on. If not, this is gonna do it for this video. So thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the hunting videos. Glad we were able to uh, get a little bit of action on camera here today. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All helps the channel grow. Appreciate the support, and we'll see you on the next one.